In this lesson, we'll be creating multiple setup sheets. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a setup sheet for a single setup and create a setup sheet for multiple WCS setups. Let's carry on with the file from the previous example and let's talk about creating setup sheets for our toolpaths. First, we have our soft jaw setup one selected. We're going to go to Actions and select Setup Sheet. We need to select a location, and once we select the folder, notice that it says one or more operations are invalid. It gives us this warning, and every time we make some changes or we make some adjustments to our program, we should always double check to make sure that they are generated properly. It can be easy to overlook this if we have things that are closed, for example, stock prep. So I'm gonna go through and make sure that all of them are generated correctly and then go back and select soft jaw setup one and once more come down to setup sheet. The setup sheet is created as an HTML document. You'll notice that it has the current view of the model when we created the setup sheet and some information about the program and the WCS. So it's important that the model that you see on the screen accurately represents the part that you're trying to convey in your setup sheet. In this case, we had a fixture shown, and the WCS is actually under the bottom corner, so this doesn't help anybody set this machine up. So let's go back into Fusion, and let's take a look at setting it up properly. For the soft jaw, we'll be looking at just a single part. So we're going to go back into our model, back into soft jaw, expand our components, and make sure that we're only showing the soft jaw that we're working on. In this case, we're going to be taking a look at just the front soft jaw and we'll rotate this around, get it in the middle of the screen, select our soft jaw setup, which shows our stock and our coordinate system, and we'll set this up again. So now you can see the preview on the screen shows the part and its orientation, shows the coordinate system location, and again, WCS1, which represents G54. And you'll notice that it tells us the tools, the spindle speed, all the information about how long it should take. In this case, the cycle time is just under two minutes to cut this part. And then it goes through the operations. The tool that's used in each, information about the travel, whether or not coolant is on, and all this information is gonna be extremely helpful. But back in Fusion, what if we tried to output multiple setups at the same time? These have two different coordinate systems, two different WCS offsets, so let's select both of these and try to create a setup sheet. Notice again we get the same warning, multiple WCS settings have been selected. We're going to select OK and take a look at the result. So notice here it says WCS 1, 2. It gives us information, the number of operations, but it posts everything out in order. So while it does give us information about multiple WCS offsets, the information that we're getting doesn't necessarily help somebody set up those coordinate systems. As we look through the operations, you can see that we have WCS1, WCS1, WCS1. As soon as a new WCS is created, we do have new in bold letters, all caps, and an exclamation point. So this does tell us that there is a WCS shift to G55 in this case, because WCS number two is G55. So this information is helpful because we know what tools we're using, we know when the change in WCS happens, and also when we go back up here we know that we have six operations, which tools we're using, and the information about those. So we know what to set up in the machine. However, the big issue here is that the image in the setup box doesn't accurately show the location of both WCSs. If we go back into Fusion, the second setup for our soft jaw has the WCS located on this side. However, the first setup has it located on the other side. We can't see both of these at the same time, so when we're outputting the code, we can only show one or the other. A way around this is to manually take screenshots of each and put them in the report manually. Again, this is an HTML document that gets created, so there is some level of editing that you can do, but it's not gonna be as straightforward as just like a Word document. So from here, the suggestion is, if you're gonna be creating multiple parts with multiple WCSs, and you output a setup sheet 
the information that you're going to get is going to be helpful in relation to the tools that are needed, parameters of the machine. However, you want to be extra careful about how you define the coordinate systems and the specific parts. If you happen to be able to show both parts at the same time, where in this instance it's the same part in two different orientations, then maybe you can add some additional notes to help identify where those coordinate systems are. But again, just a word of caution when you're creating those setup sheets, make sure you understand the implications of what you're doing whenever you select multiple setups. From here, let's make sure that we save this file before we move on to the next step. 